My name is Ben Wilcox, I'm Event Technology Manager for British Gymnastics. We're here at the Resorts World Arena for our Gymnastics World Cup where we've got an afternoon session of men's gymnastics and an evening session of women's gymnastics. We're in a new arena this time, we were at Arena Birmingham last year. One of the main differences this time is that the arena has no sports lighting so we've had to put in a full lighting rig to be able to light the apparatus for the gymnastics, uh, for the audience, the performance and for the broadcast. It's obviously come at a, a rather large cost but the advantage to us is that we've been able to use a lot of the lights for our sports presentation. So we've made the rig purely out of moving heads which has really made the focusing time much quicker than if we were using conventionals and a lot more flexibility for the sports presentation. We've got complete control over all of the lighting states so we've got a lot more flexibility. So this year, which we haven't been able to do in the past, we can light each individual apparatus completely independently. So rather than having a complete wash across the entire floor, we can just light the apparatus that they're currently competing on. Because we've not worked at this particular venue for a number of years, there's, there's lots of extra considerations in the planning phase. So normally we take things for granted. For example, the roof in this venue is lower than in Arena Birmingham and the MS Bank Arena where we do a lot of our work. And so we've had to be really careful about sight lines from the audience to the screen because of the lighting trusses that potentially will obscure the screen. Every year we try and make the sports presentation a little bit different so people who come back year after year have something different to look at. Um, so last year we had a revolving stage with the band and the gymnast entrance. Uh, this time as you see behind me we've got a fixed stage with the band on one side, gymnast entrance in the centre and then we've got the what we call the kiss and cry area where the gymnasts will hang out between their, their routines is on the right hand side of the stage. We've got some pyrotechnics which we've not used in the past so for medal ceremonies we've got a uh, pyro waterfall effect that will fall down behind the gymnast as the gold medal winner is announced. We've got sparks effects coming down the steps because of the pyrotechnics that we've got mounted onto the truss behind the gymnast, this time we've had to make some special planning to make sure that all the safety distances are adhered to um, so there's no risk to anybody. So the planning for this event starts over a year in advance. Uh, with obviously the gymnastics element taking the priority in terms of the layout of the apparatus in the, in the venue. And then we build a whole sports presentation concept alongside that. So the initial draft of the whole stage layout and the truss structure that's on there uh, was drawn up and then as time goes on we refine that to, to fit in the confines of the venue and, and sort of link that seamlessly along with the layout of the actual gymnastics equipment itself. As well as the planning for this event we're simultaneously working on planning for many other of our British Championships in other gymnastics disciplines which happen throughout the year. So it's a constant case of juggling between different events. Last week we had our British Gymnastics Championships at the MS Bank Arena which is one of our biggest events. Uh, it works in a slightly different way because at that event there's a lot more gymnasts and less opportunity for sports presentation, whereas this event is uh, a small number of gymnasts so we can spend a lot more time on the actual presentation element of the event. We try and work with the same suppliers year on year wherever possible because we just find that that helps a lot with the planning phase, that people have worked on the shows before, they know the challenges that we have to deal with and how to overcome them. So we've worked with Novum AV on the sound and lights for many, many years, so we work really well as a close team on the design and they'll put design ideas forward to us which we can incorporate in the final show. This year we've got ADI supplying the LED screen. We've used them for a number of years in the past at our major championships like the World Championships in 2015, the Europeans in 2018. They've got a, a very wide range of screens including some mobile screens which we were able to use last week at the uh, British Gymnastics Championships. So that was one of the reasons why we went with them this time. We've got Dynamite FX supplying the Pyro and the Sparks FX who we worked with uh, for a number of years. Last year we had a live band for the the first time uh, playing all the the rotation march music and uh, pre-show music uh, that went down really well so we've got a band again this year we've selected a new band they're called the fanatics we have our own electronic scoring system in-house developed by British Gymnastics. We've had that for a number of years. We've made a few refinements this time in terms of the graphics for the LED screen. So we've got a whole new set of graphics templates. Sometimes new rules are brought in by our international federation, so we need to keep the system up to date. Alongside that, we have a mobile app which receives scores directly from the scoring system. So any member of the public anywhere in the world can view the scores live on a mobile device. Those scores go directly into the host broadcast system, so they get um, sent to BBC to put on the TV graphics. 
My name's Gareth, I'm the Digital Production Manager for British Gymnastics. My role at the major events is to help with the content side of sports presentation uh, and I also uh, look after the broadcast and live streaming elements. So it's been quite a challenge for us this year because we've had an extra event to deal with and we've had a, a really big event last weekend in the form of the British Championships. This weekend we've got the World Cup event as well so it's been really challenging for us as quite a small team to be able to pull off all the sports presentation elements, to be able to pull off two events back to back. The event's quite a challenge in a way because the gymnast, as you can see, warm up on the field of play. Um, so as the audience come into the arena, they actually see the gymnast warming up. And then we only really have kind of 10 minutes to send the gymnasts out of the arena, do a bit of sports presentation before we can bring them back in. So we need to make sure that whatever we do in that 10 minutes is as spectacular as it possibly can be. We've been really lucky this year in that we've been working with Nova Navy to put in a, a full sports lighting rig so we've got over 150 moving fixtures in the roof uh, and we were very very keen to make the most use of, of those fixtures uh, with a spectacular light show and a kind of VT package to open the event with. Um, the challenge for me was how to outsource the graphic element of it and how to marry that up with, with what Novum did with the light show. So the approach that we took was to create a placeholder edit. Uh, we found this absolutely amazing track by Terminite to kind of set the light show to. We created a placeholder edit, we marked out all the key beats we marked out what we wanted to do for each, each of the sections, what pieces of apparatus we wanted to highlight, what text we wanted on screen, what colours we wanted to use. I then gave that to the graphics company to work with. Uh, at the same time as I, I gave the placeholder edit to Novum, so Novum began assembling the light show, the graphics company began assembling the VT package, uh, and then it was a case of refining it as, it as we went through. When the two kind of met together, all the kind of key beats were hit. Josh from Novum's done a fantastic job. He's, uh, he's time-coded it all, and so it perfectly matched with that VT. The house lights here are fully customizable as well um, so we've been very keen to ensure that our British Gymnastics colour palette for the event really comes through so we've chosen this kind of uh, cool blue lighting effect um, to go over the top of the audience seats. On the field of play we're going to be lighting um, in 1500 looks all the pieces of apparatus and those pieces that we're not using we're going to kind of splash the, the purples and pinks from the British Gymnastics colour palette around the arena as well. When we began designing the light show we weren't really sure what fixtures we had so when I put the placeholder edit together it was really a case of what the kind of mood was that we wanted to convey is this bit a kind of um is it a kind of tension bit? Is it highlighting a particular piece of apparatus? Uh, and we always know that Novum and, and Josh do such a great job. We have great confidence in them. So we knew that once we'd picked out those key beats and we'd got the music track, we told them what uh, colours we wanted for those particular bits. We knew that whatever they came up with was going to be good. Um, we went to Novum to do a, a pre vis session as well, so we could kind of refine it a little bit there. And they sent through some renders in the meantime, and I sent through the, the, the proper graphics uh, package to them. It's been a combined process but in all honesty once we've given those kind of key beats and the colours to know them we did have the confidence that, that they do a fantastic job and they have they haven't let us down at all it looks looks absolutely fantastic been really really fortunate this year we've been working uh, particularly well with the BBC over the last year and we've actually got the men's event live on BBC one and we've also got uh, a 90 minutes highlight package on BBC two on the Sunday for the women's competition so we've got really really great coverage with the BBC this year and we're very pleased to be working with them more closely my name's Dom Elson, I am an event manager for British Gymnastics and currently uh, at this particular event I am in the role of show caller. So I'll be uh, telling everyone what to do and when to do it. So the role of show caller um, is, is relatively difficult and I, I would imagine that uh, to the most part people turn up a couple of days before, they look at what it is that they're going to be delivering from a plan and then look to deliver it. We try and have tried in the, in the past couple of years to make it a slightly more dynamic process where I'm involved in the production and involved in the ideas and what would work, what wouldn't work and make sure that um, the, the, what we are putting across is deliverable. It's not a case of we come to site and we can't do that, it's impossible. Um, we'll have ironed all of those things out in, in the detail prior to the, uh, the on-site stage, as it were. From my perspective, this event has a slightly different way in which we control the house lighting. We have um, a patch straight into the house lighting that is in position, but the sports lighting itself um, that we've had to install. So it's relatively easy in comparison with last year because all I have to do is communicate with our one operative who will be able to change lighting state and move between the different sports lighting states that we require for uh, the individually lit apparatus and also the apparatus all lit together. 
ultimately at the heart of these events the gymnastics uh, sits and it is incredibly important to make sure that they are of paramount importance um, but then as uh, secondary importance but similarly at a very high priority level we want it to be a really good show so those that are coming to spectate we want them to go away with a really good experience of gymnastics because television production has gone up in terms of people watch X Factor on a weekly basis, they see this really high level of production, um, they pr probably would go away slightly less excited if we weren't able to match that or at, at least kind of give a good rep representation of that sort of experience. There is a level of complexity when you bring broadcast into the equation. Um, we have a really strong liaison through our digital production manager into the realm of broadcast. So we, as the show is happening, are fully aware of what is going on and potentially what we might need to make changes to. To the most part, it doesn't really make a massive difference. Uh, the way in which uh, BBC commentary works, they're not phased by the background noise in the audience or in the auditorium while we're running kind of the big, big show elements. Um, and they're fully aware of the timescale of those things. So if they were to be uh, worried about it, they'd hopefully have scheduled something different to go in that sort of time slot so that they're not overwhelmed by the noise and, and their kind of production quality falls below par. In a dynamic sense, it's relatively straightforward because we're all in communication. So if there is something that needs to be changed or something that's going wrong, then we will make amendments immediately to make sure that it goes right. This venue has a slightly higher capacity than Arena Birmingham, where we were last year. Uh, and our ticket sales are actually up from last time as well, which is a very positive move. So we're expecting about um, almost 7,000 for the women's session. The women's are always more popular than men's gymnastics, but that's very close to the capacity of the venue, so it's going to be a really good audience.